Hello again and welcome to the third episode of 5 Minutes Astronomy. Today we answer the question, does it really rain diamonds on Neptune? In short, the answer is, we don't know for sure, but most probably. Let's see why. Neptune, along with Uranus, is classified as ice giant of the solar system, meaning that their interior is composed mainly of ices, which astronomically mean compounds of hydrogen, like water, methane and ammonia. Their bluish color is due to the methane in them. The icy giants are the farthest and perhaps the least understood of all the planets in our solar system. The only spacecraft to fly by them was Voyager 2. Since many of the exoplanets we have discovered belong to similar classes like these ice giants, understanding them becomes an important goal for future missions. What we know about the interior is that they may have a rocky core, surrounded by a very thick atmospheric layer of ices topped with a layer of hydrogen and helium similar to the Sun. How did we derive that these would result in a diamond rain on these planets? Well, in 1981, Marvin Ross wrote a paper in Nature that hypothesized exactly this. According to him, as we would go deeper into the atmosphere of ice giants, the pressure and temperature would keep increasing due to gravity. The pressure would be a million times than that on Earth and temperatures of 9000 kelvins or more. In this condition, the ices would be compressed into hot dense fluids. This would lead the carbon from methane and other ices to separate out, freeing the hydrogen. The carbon would slowly come together and arrange in crystalline, diamond-like structure similar to how diamonds are formed within the Earth's mantle. These diamonds would be in the range of nanometers and would accumulate more material as they fall or drift down due to gravity, thus creating a diamond ring. These diamonds would at times reach centimeter sizes as they reach the rocky core. But deep here on the rocky core, the pressure and temperature would be even higher, converting the solid crystalline diamonds into liquid carbon, a mysterious state of carbon that has hardly been studied. There might be diamond rocks floating on this layer of liquid carbon. There may be other allotropes of carbon form too, like graphite and fullerenes. But this was all theory and no observation. To test this idea, simulations and models of the interior of these planets were created in laboratories once technology became advanced enough. A nanometer-sized sphere of carbon-hydrogen polymer like polystyrene was held between two diamond anvils which applied pressure similar to 250 elephants on a heel shoe. The temperature was increased using pulsed laser. Similar exotic conditions were later created by using shock compression technology which involves firing sample with high pulsed energy radiation which applies pressure and increases temperature simultaneously. These are capable of reaching gigabars of pressures and millions of kelvins of temperature. In these experiments, the required conditions existed only for a few nanoseconds, but was enough to study the chemical changes taking place. So what did the researchers observe? They studied how X-ray got scattered from the polymer and they could actually detect carbon-hydrogen change breaking and carbon atoms arranging themselves in a diamond-like crystal structure. These nanodiamonds were created in conditions similar to that exist inside these icy giants. So, with certain experimental confidence, we can say that yes, it probably rains diamond inside Neptune and Uranus. As the diamond rains down in Neptune, they convert gravitational potential energy to heat energy. This internal heat being produced in the ices layer of Neptune is responsible for the fact that Neptune releases twice the heat it actually absorbs from the Sun. The raining down carbon in other forms like graphite is also responsible for generating electric currents which are responsible for the non-polar magnetic fields of the ice giants. Recent studies have also shown that diamond rains may be happening even on Saturn and Jupiter. While these planets have comparably less methane, it is present in the interior of these gas giants. Here, the tremendous thunderstorms rip carbon from the methane and even higher pressures and temperature converts them into diamonds. So that's all the sparkle for this episode. Do not forget to like, comment and share this video and follow the Astro Geek Comics. Until next time, stay curious and keep looking up.